friends, my name is Daria, immigration lawyer from Warsaw, Poland. In today's video, I would like to explain the differences between work permit type A, which was issued in a traditional way with stamps, and in the work permit, which was issued by electronic system. If you want to work in Poland as a foreigner, most probably you need to have a work permit to work legally on the territory of Poland. In general, recently there are two ways of applying for a work permit. Remember that only your employer can apply for a work permit. You, as an employee, cannot apply for a work permit to work in Poland. Your employer has two ways for applying for work permit for you. First way is traditional way by submitting application in office or sending by traditional mail. Second option is applying for a work permit by electronic system. There is official portal where your employer can apply for your work permit. Unfortunately, there is no differences between time frame of issuing work permit in a traditional way and in the electronic system. An employer which applied for a work permit in a traditional way by submitting in immigration office or sending by post will receive two copies of your work permit. One copy will be for employer and second copy is for an applicant which will be obligated to present this document once he or she will apply for visa to work in Poland. If your employer applied for work permit through electronic system, he or she will receive your work permit first in electronic form as PDF. This work permit your employer can download and send to you. After one or two weeks later, your employer will receive as well one copy of work permit with stamping. The main difference between applying in traditional way for your work permit or by electronic system will be the number of work permit documents issued by Voivod office with stamps, official stamps of this office. If employer applied for your work permit in traditional way, then he or she will receive two copies of work permit with official stamps. On the other hand, if your employer applied through electronic system for your work permit, he or she will receive only one copy of official work permit with stamp. If your employer applied for work permit through electronic system, it will be your employer decision to send you official letter from immigration with official red stamp on it, or if he or she will send you PDF file which you can easily print even in your home country. The most important information for you is that traditional work permit with official stamps on it and electronic work permit, they are both valid. There is no difference in validity of work permit issued in traditional way and in electronic way. Now let's take a look into two work permits. They are both issued for the same candidate, 
the application was submitted through electronic system. That's why we received one copy of work permit through electronic system in the PDF format and one in traditional way with stamp on it. Work permit type A for Poland must contain identifier in the central system, document number and code, date of issue, name of the unit that issued the work permit, case number, type of permit, legal basis of decision, surname and forename of company, address, headquarters of the company, telephone or fax or email. Below this information, we have section regarding information about foreigner who will be performing the work. Name and surname, nationality, date of birth, job position, type of work performed. Job position, type of employment contract. Working time, weekly hours of work. Gross monthly salary in Polish currency. In case you applied for your work permit through work agency, below details regarding salary, you will find information regarding employer for which you gonna perform your work the period of time by which the work permit is valid. On the second side of the decision of work permit type A, there is justification for the decision and the basis for issuing the decision. The basis for issuing the decision is Article 107 of the Code of Administrative Procedure. In the section of the instruction, in Polish it is pouczenie, we'll find some basic information regarding obligations of the employer who will employ the foreigner. Down on the left corner, in the printed version of the second page, should be official stamp and on the right side, stamp and signature of competent authority issuing the permit. Below these stamps there is a place for acknowledging receipt of the work permit by the applicant. So what is the difference between the work permit issued in the traditional form with a stamp and in electronic form? In the work permit issued by traditional way, on page second there is an official stamp. The stamp contains the emblem of the Republic of Poland, which is eagle in the crown, and the name of the voivode who issued the work permit. On the right side there is a stamp of the official who checked and issued the work permit. Below is also place for acknowledging receipt of the work permit by the applicant along with the date of receiving work permit. The second page of work permit look a bit different in an electronic permit. Under the justification for issuing the decision and the instruction, there is a sentence that the document was signed with a qualified signature. Recently, we have also observed that under the sentence opatrzony kwalifikowanym podpisem elektronicznym, there is also information about who signed the document, along with the name of the office that issued the work permit and the date and time of signing the document electronically by the official. The most important information is that if your work permit is not officially stamped, it does not mean that it has been forged. But there is no doubt that a document without official stamps is much easier to force. Hope you enjoyed this video and you know the basic differences between work permit issued in the traditional way and in electronic way. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a like below the video. If you have more questions regarding immigration to Poland or any other European country, 
please leave a comment. It was Daria, immigration lawyer from Poland, and hope to see you next time soon.